Hello! Hello, everyone out there. Greetings. I'm Nick. I'm Taylor. This is mainly for um, a special someone. This is a shout out vid to uh, <laughs> Miss Ellen DeGeneres. And if you're Ellen, you just better stay on Don't this go video. Anyway. If you're not Ellen, you can leave if you want, but you probably shouldn't because you're already here and you've already wasted, what, 15 seconds of your life? So just. <laughs> Watch the rest of this video. Um, I promise you, we promise you, it's gonna be splendid. Um, we're from a high school in Federal Way called Decatur, um, and we are doing a project in leadership about bullying and harassment, and we're taking a whole week out of our schedule to just focus all our might and energy into stopping the harassment and bullying and name calling and all that stuff. So we have like different topics each day, and mm -hmm. we'll focus on that topic, like that day of the week and then at the end of the week hopefully we'll have like a guest speaker or somebody that's kind of why we're shouting it out to you. We really want um, Ellen to be a part of this, to, if, to send a video, a tweet, um, send a representative just because we I know that we know that she um, is an ambassador of sorts for this topic and she knows people and she can articulate what we're trying to say but in a more outgoing yet informative way and we just we really think that she's the perfect face cover girl <laughs> cover girl <laughs> for our topic so um, we asked certain we asked a whole bunch of people in our school teachers and students questions um, like what is your definition of bullying uh, a lot of the time when people say bullying, you know, you think of like people being shoved into lockers and kids stealing lunch money and stuff, but that's not really what bullying is about. Because bullying can be anything that, you know, makes someone else feel really uncomfortable. And I think of bullying as whenever like a stronger person is using their power to be mean to a weaker person. And that can be, you know, like someone who's part of a majority, you know, being mean to someone who's part of a minority. Bullying is repeated intimidation or um, repeated meanness to someone and I think that can be verbally like we normally think about you know teasing but it can also be physical or um, non-verbal things like excluding people or turning away or just the way you uh, treat people in general. I think bullying and harassment is treating somebody um, unfairly or disrespectfully because of something you don't agree with. I think that bullying is when somebody takes their privilege as a right and that as soon as that line gets crossed you start to see bullying happen. So the example I always use is like if you're the biggest kid on the playground and that swing set's always yours and you always get that same swing and there's a little kid on that swing and it's your turn to be on it and you go up to them and you push them off the swing, you took your privilege of being able to use that swing as the biggest kid as your right. And so that's when the bully starts to happen. And then other questions like have you ever been bullied? Yes, I have been personally bullied um, starting in the third grade <laughs> and it worked in my it worked all the way up until ninth grade, ninth to tenth grade. And I got to learn people calling me like faggot and um, just like really de demeaning names. And so I started cutting myself um, for all, like a year and a half. Yeah. And then once I got more comfortable with myself, it kind of stopped because I kind of stood up. Of course. <laughs> Look at me. I mean, come on. Constant basis. I mean, you can you can bully me for my sexual orientation. You can bully me for my weight. You can bully me for the way I dress. Um, even as an adult, I'm still getting bullied. I'm getting bullied by other staff members. I'll walk into the bathroom to use the bathroom, and they'll see me, and they'll turn around, and they'll walk right back out. Like, um, I'm still getting doors shut in my face, and people whispering to me snarky behind my back. That never stops. It's such a cliche thing when people say that cutting releases the stress, um, but honestly it really does. It, when you when you are in that state of mind and you start cutting, start self-mutilating, it, um, it sucks and it hurts, but that pain is a lot worse than the pain you're going through. Have you ever retaliated? I tried to ignore it at first because, you know, I just didn't want to bother other people. I didn't want to, you know, make my problems seem important because, you know, I was just like, I can handle this on my own. I don't need anyone else to help me. Like, I can do this. But as time went on, the 
that just piled up and got worse and worse. I used to when I was younger. Um, I've got quite a mouth on me <laughs> and I know how to use it. <laughs> My brother was a big bully to me and so he taught me kind of how to like make sure that doesn't happen. Like there's this old song, um, Digital Underground, the Humpty Dance, where the song is like, yo fat girl, come here all you ticklish. My brother used to sing that to me all the time. So I learned the song and the next time he came after me with the song, I just turned around and like sang it back to him. And so <laughs> if you make fun of yourself first on the obvious things, you know, what do people, oh, you're fat. Okay, like I didn't notice that when I woke up this morning, you know? I guess the ignorance is more offensive than the bullying. Have you stood up to a bully before? Um, I stand up a lot, like, uh, I mean, it doesn't always work, but I think it's always good to try. Like, for example, one time, you know, I was in class and kids were saying some really mean stuff about gay people behind me. They weren't talking to me, but they were just, you know, trying to be funny. And I was really offended, so I turned around and said, you know, I'm really offended right now, can you stop doing that? And they kept doing it, and then every time, um, you know, they saw me in the hallway or whatever, they would say those things to me, because they knew it pissed me off. But, you know, and that doesn't sound like a good result, but it actually can be, because that means that every time they saw me, they thought of me being offended, and they realized that, you know, this could be offensive to someone. So even though they didn't change their actions, they at least you know, thought about it, and so maybe when they mature more, they can actually remember that experience, and, you know, so I really, I really do think that it makes a difference to stand up. Yes, absolutely. I think that's the only way to stop it. I think we have to change our culture, and all of us have to stand up against bullies and say that's not okay. Because when we just let it go, then we're permitting it. You know, once you promote it, or once you permit it, then it's like you're, you're just as bad as a bully. What did you do when you saw yeah, what someone did you being bullied? At Decatur, I've seen um, people get into physical fights. I think bullying is more physical. I think harass I think of harassment as more of a verbal. So I have seen both in my own classroom. I do my best to control that and listen for it and discipline those who harass uh, other people. In my own classroom, there's never been a physical fight, um, but I have seen it. Unfortunately, I have, and it breaks my heart. I think that, you know, kids need to come to school and feel like they're safe and that they can be accepted, and you can't learn if you don't feel like you fit in, and it, it breaks my heart. And last but not least, what advice can you give to people who are being bullied and harassed? It gets better, and that is another cliche thing, but honestly, when kids are getting bullied nowadays, it's because the bullies aren't fully comfortable with themselves or their surroundings and neither are the people getting bullied. But once you hit like 6th, 7th, 8th, ninth grade and somewhere around there, you start getting more comfortable with yourself and therefore you will start, um, once you start getting comfortable with yourself, it's, everything turns better because you don't put up with that and I definitely stopped putting up with that. I think the first thing they should do is tell somebody that they trust and um, don't just keep it inside because I think that's where problems occur is when you don't share it with other people. Mm -hmm. um, tell a close friend, tell an adult, someone that you trust that can um, help you with the situation. I think you should always stand up because, um, you know, even if, like I said, even if it doesn't seem like it's making a difference, the more people who stand up to bullies and, you know, make it obvious that it's really not okay to be, to harass people, um, more it'll help and also uh, like a lot of people don't want to get caught being bullies because nobody really wants to be that kind of person who's so cowardly that they have to pick on someone littler than themselves so if you make a big deal out of it and just make it really obvious that this person's being mean or whatever then they'll be more likely to stop stand up for yourself by any means necessary it's not okay especially if it's around something that you can't control like if you're being bullied because you're a jerk that's one thing but if you're being bullied because of your race or your, nat your sexual orientation or your nationality or something that's so beyond yourself, you are who you are. Uh, I know that most students don't want to talk to us as the administration, but if we know, we can help. If we don't know, there's nothing we can do. So we're here to help and we want to make all kids feel safe when they come to school. So that would be my first advice. I would say you need to have at least one genuine good person to talk to. 
you need to have one, at least one, like, you know, if there's more than one, it's great. But sometimes you can only find one genuine good person, even if that's your mom, like, honestly, like, just find someone to talk to. Don't hold it in because it's gonna just get worse. You eventually end up bullying yourself in a way. You're beating yourself up for something that someone can help you with. Even if you're an independent person, everyone needs help at one point. Help us spread awareness. Send it to your friends, email it, mail the it. The more people that know about it, the better, and it'll keep going and keep spreading. Mm -hmm. and especially if you can tweet to Miss Ellen, especially if you can tweet to Miss Ellen. We need um, to help spread awareness. So if you can post it to your Facebook, your Tumblr, your Twitter, your MySpace, if you have one. <laughs> so, uh, thank you for watching. Don't bully. Do not.